Hey, what is up guys? Alex of Sipno Tech. How are you doing? We got the Sony XA right here. Uh, I'm testing this one out right now. But Google kind of threw out something for you to test out today, which is the Nexus launcher. So apparently um, something came out. I mean, there was a report that came out a couple days ago that said Google might be launching a new launcher uh, relatively soon. And apparently today people were downloading the APK and testing it out. And I was like, wow, that was pretty quick. Uh, so the gap between rumors and actual release of stuff is narrowing. It's pretty cool. Uh, so we actually got that here. Uh, as you can see from my screen, I have it running right now. This is the Nexus launcher. So this is a quick little uh, first look overview about what we can kind of expect from maybe the next Nexus launch uh, in a couple months. So uh, as you can see, this does look a little different. So Google does have the Google Now launcher, which is very standard Google search bar at the very top. We don't have a search bar here. We just have a Google sign on the top left, a little G there uh, with a nice little date, August 2nd, Tuesday, 2016. You can't actually get rid of that. So that's not a widget. That's actually part of the screen. And then uh, the default that they have here is Maps and Play Store um, as the only two icons. So instead of that, Google suite of apps on the left side, um, we have just maps here. Uh, I don't know if this is the same for every device, but when I downloaded this, this is the, this is the default layout uh, that they gave me at least. So interesting to note. At the bottom we have Messenger, Gmail, and Chrome. So it's a very simple layout. And I, at first, when I downloaded it, I kind of looked at it like, huh, this is kind of different, kind of, I need to get used to it, you know? And then after using it for about like an hour, it's kind of neat, I kind of like this. I kind of like this a little more than Google Now, uh, the Google Now launcher, because I always hated that search bar on my actual homepage. Uh, this one doesn't have that, has a low G. So the G, if you click on it, it does become the search bar. And of course, like Google Now, you also have to tap the G again to launch to your left screen. So you can actually swipe left uh, to launch your Google Now settings or your Google Now page. And uh, the default has no widgets or anything on it, no apps on the right side, nothing. So you tap on the G, you can use your search bar, tap on the G again, it takes you to your Google Now. Um, and then this is where things start to differentiate. There's no, there's no app drawer button anymore. If you remember in the past where the Gmail button is right there, um, that's where the drop down was. You can uh, press it and the drop down menu pops up. Check this out. You see that little arrow above the Gmail button? If you click on it, there's your app drawer. You can also pull up, you swipe up if you're on the bottom of the screen. Oh, sorry. Pop like that. Slide up and boom, got it open. So you can actually slide up your, um, your uh, app drawer to launch your apps, which is uh, pretty neat. And of course it has the search control uh, at the top, the search bar right there to search for whatever apps you want to look at. So that's that's pretty neat. Look at the animation. It's, it's nice and fluid. Uh, it's pretty nice. Uh, next thing we're going to take a look at is widgets. So widgets uh, also work here. We just toss in a widget here. Uh, create widget and allow access. After you create the widget, Nexus Launcher can access all data it displays. Create. So you can indeed dump a widget down and you can also move it to a separate screen right there. So that creates a second page, uh, very similar to what we were accustomed to with Android. Uh, let's make a folder. So the next thing that's also different is folders. So I'm going to take Chrome and throw it onto Maps. And let's throw another, let's throw, let's do drive and docs. So if you look at that, that's a bit different than what we used to have in terms of how the folders are, are created in terms of the icons. Uh, this is like a little round with little cutoffs there. I kind of, at first, once again, at first, since it took me some time to get used to it. I was like, this is kind of weird, you know, it's cropped off and it's not like perfectly even and aligned or, or kind of like how the old way where it's like one in front of the other. But the more I saw this, the more I kind of dug it. Like, um, it it looks okay. I, I, I'm actually, it's growing on me. 
uh, it only shows four at a time. So you just saw I just dragged the fifth Hangouts in there, but it only shows the first four. Um, so this was a change that I kind of I'm kind of digging too. Uh, one thing I did have an issue with, though, uh, it might be, I don't know if it's the phone or if it's just this, uh, this APK because it is new. You can't change the wallpaper. As you saw there, it just jumped back to my, uh, my uh, Google Now launcher. So uh, let's go back here. Let's try it one more time. Hold down the button, go to wallpapers. Unfortunately, the Nexus launcher has stopped. So, um, you know, once again, this is just uh, a test it's not officially released on the Google Play Store, so that could possibly be something that it's just a little bug that they might need to fix out before a final release, or you know, it might not even be released at all. So uh, we we have no idea what Google's doing here. This could be a new launcher that launches with the Nexuses, or it could just be a preview of what the Nexus screens uh, will come like. Um, the last thing we're going to check out too is uh, I'm going to also add an icon, add an app to my quick apps. So I put the camera there and let's also put, since there's no phone, let's put a phone dialer. Where is the contacts? There we go, contacts. Put that right there. And now we have a full set of apps uh, there. So you can do that, you can customize your own. Let's see if we can do more than five. I don't think we can do more than five. No, you cannot, but you can make a folder inside your quick apps. So. Uh, pretty neat, but yeah. So that's that's basically it. It's a very clean, nice little experience. I I'm digging certain aspects of the simplicity and uh, the design of this Nexus launcher. It's not significantly different, but it feels like a, a subtle little change, like a little evolution towards some something more clean, you know. And uh, not that the Nexus, not that the Google Now launcher wasn't clean. Um, it just here. Let's take a look at the Google Now launcher compared to this. I'm going to crash this. See, this is the Google Now launcher. It's pretty pretty clean as it is, you know. But when you switch over to the Nexus launcher, as we are right now, it just seems much cleaner, you know, and. Uh, I'm kind of dig digging. I'm going to give this a little opportunity. I'm going to try it for a little bit and, uh, you know, see if this is something that can replace the Google Now Launcher because I put the Google Now Launcher on every single phone that I, I, I basically get. So, um, but yeah, this is just a quick look at the Nexus Launcher. Maybe this is what the new Nexus phones will launch with. So, uh, really neat. And once again, my name is Alex from Sipno Tech. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Be sure to subscribe, like the video, and we will... Um, see you guys next time. I got a lot of other videos coming out this week and next week, so we'll be back. Bye. Okay, so that concludes my video on Pokemon Go, using it through Hotspot, the Blue R1 HD.